I am my women. We are here to pay you a costly visit concerning solidarity, what is going on in this our party. So we have plans for for women concerning the what is going on. We want peace. We want peace. We women want peace to reign. We are, I, in fact, I don't know because what I understand and I know in this party is that all of us are friends. So we want to make peace. We want to know actually what is going on so that we women will come in. Sir, please, we women, we plan it. We come together and say that let peace reign. That's why we are here. And in other hand, we need to concerning what is going the our mandate. We women, we want the mandate to come back. We want our we want to come together and see that our mandate will come down. We have plans, but I don't know whether it is my sister here will, you know, help me to say it more. Hey, good afternoon, Chairman. Uh, we are happy to see you today. Thank you so much. Um, it's more of a solidarity visit we have come. And uh, we want to use this opportunity to emphasize on the saying that a house divided against itself can never stand. So as mothers, as women, as daughters, as friends, as obedience that we are, we want to use this medium to call on even the other part. There's nothing that cannot be settled. A dialogue, a dialogue will do us the world of good. So whatever that can be done, because the enemy, of course, we know that we have enemies here and there. And then for us to break the hedge in over which they will enter us, is so disheartening. We're not happy about it. So whatever can be done, even in our capacity as women, we will not hesitate to do whatever we can to get this matter resolved once and for all so that we can face the major challenge facing us, reclaiming our mandate. We suffered. We worked. We did all we're supposed to do. We trusted the government. We trusted Mahmoud. We trusted our president. When they assured us that our votes were going to count, a good number of us who had before the 25th of February 2023 refused to participate in anything politics. When we heard them speak, when we heard Mahmoud go to Chatham House and make assurances, we believed him, we trusted him. And we all came out. Women were mobilized. We took the risk, we took the pain. Some of us slept outside our homes, neglecting our duties at home as mothers, just to get Nigeria right. Because we want a new Nigeria. And we want to see it happen. Thank you. And not going back on that. Thank you very much, sir. What's the name, ma? My name is Obi Elekwa. Well, I want to want to oh, sorry. Well, we want to, uh, on behalf of the National Working Committee, appreciate the FCT Women Leader and the FCT for um, paying this uh, solidarity visit today. I want to say that I'm deeply humbled, I'm happy that um, you are here today to visit me. Uh, I want to say clearly that we are not opposed to peace in the party. Uh, I value peace. We appreciate a peaceful environment. We appreciate the fact, too, that the house divided against itself can really not stand. And that's why, for me, I'll be very open to our colleagues 
uh, that uh, it's better to have a one united house. Uh, you recall that um, we've always had this agreement, but I've always pursued peace. Um, the people fighting us, of course, I want to say clearly that there's no justification for it. Uh, I want to believe that they are under serious inducement, as you have seen. I mean, uh, for the media people and for you who are here, you must have seen photographs, you must have seen that uh, they are not working for this party, they are working for opposition political party. It's very clear, it's very obvious. Uh, the party was at its lowest ebb when we came on board and we took the party from nothing and we've taken it to something. So for whatever reason that uh, they may have to have this agreement, I didn't expect that they should take it to the level they've taken it to. So it just shows that uh, they are heavily induced. It's all over the place that uh, they are not working for the party. And of course, um, uh, if they are ready to repent from their sins, of course, who, who am I, who are we that cannot obviously also forgive and uh, allow peace to reign? Uh, for me, I've not pretended, I've made it very clear and obvious that uh, there's no going back on the mandate given to Labour Party and, pres and their presidential candidate, Peter. Uh, we are committed to it, we we'll continue to pursue it. We are in court, uh, we follow, I assure you that we are going to follow that process uh, to the end. We are going to work hard, we are not going to rest on our oars until that mandate is uh, reclaimed. Across the Federation, you saw the injustice that was meted out on us. Our mandate has stolen at the presidential level, at the state governorship level, at House of Assembly levels, and even House of Rep and Senate. Uh, I must reassure you that those mandates will be reclaimed. We'll pursue it, we'll get it sorted out. Uh, what is happening has not discouraged me. I refuse to be discouraged. I refuse to be distracted because I see it as a very formidable form of distraction which opposition political party is bringing. And so, if you not disturb us from pursuing the cases, we continue to pursue it. We continue to provide objective, result-oriented leadership that we've always done. Uh, there's no case saying the fact that Nigerians is in their need of leadership at this point in time. And they trusted us, they believed in us, they believed in the party, and therefore will not uh, rest on our oars. We continue to provide that leadership, objective, transparent leadership to um, our people. We continue to provide the voice for the voiceless for them, as, as we've always done. In Nigeria, we've never had an alternative political party. It has always been a one-way traffic. Uh, but this time around, we gave them the run of their money and they have seen the difference. Uh, they used to say it is two, three political parties tweeting from a room. But today I'm sure that they have seen that it's not uh, two, three persons tweeting from a room. That is indeed a formidable movement that has come to stay. And I want to assure Nigerians that we are not discouraged. Uh, we we'll remain focused. We we'll remain dedicated to the struggle to liberate Nigeria. I believe that a new Nigeria is possible. Uh, no man, no woman can stop an idea whose time has come. The time has come for the liberation of, uh, of the country of Nigeria. And therefore, no amount of uh, sponsorship or division in the party that can stop us. Uh, no amount of uh, inducement that is given to party members to fight us that will stop us from that objective. We have put our hands on the plan and we'll look no back. Whatever sacrifice that we need to make to make Nigeria work, to reclaim our mandate, we'll continue to pursue it. And then, uh, uh, that is so, I appreciate you for coming. I assure you that uh, we'll do our best to see that we we'll refocus and put the party on the right path. Uh, so I appreciate you, I welcome you for coming. Thank you and God bless you. So I'm sure the NLC should be